Hi, welcome to Lieber Computers, where learning is fun. In today's class we will be learning, networking basics. What is networking? It's a collection of computers, servers, peripherals, networking devices etc. An example of network is the internet, which connects the whole world. Example are hubs switches etc. Today's session we will learn, the basic characteristics of a network, and the physical components, that connect, the network together. There are different, physical components, that make up a network, which, are connected, via, different medium, like the, twisted pair copper cable, fiber optics and also wireless. A network could be, as simple as two PCs connected to each other using a cable, or, as complex as, thousands of devices, that connect through, different types of media. Let's look at some of the components that, you'll find in a typical network today. The first one is, and points. These include devices, such as PCs, MFPs or printers, also mobile phones, tablets, servers etc. Connected via, wired or wireless. In other words, these are devices that, either retrieve, or provide information. For example a PC or iPad could be used to connect to a web server to retrieve bank account information. Interconnections, these are the various components, that, connect the devices in a network. They provide, a means for, data to travel, from one point to another. Interconnections include components, such as network interface cards. Network media, such as cables or wireless media, provide a means, by which signals are transmitted, from one network device, to another. Electrical signals are used in copper, as an example light is used on fiber connections, and air is used in wireless transmissions. Example routers and access points. Connectors provide connection points for media. The most common type of connector, is the plug on the end, of a network cable, which is an RJ45 connector. The SC, ST, LC, are connectors, used to connect fiber optic cables, as their form factor differs. Switches are devices that end points, such as PCs, file servers, and printers typically, connect to. They provide, intelligent switching of data, within, a local area network. Routers connect networks, and intelligently choose the best paths between networks. Their main function is, to run traffic from one network to another. This could be, as simple as, connecting your home network to the internet. The characteristics of a network. When you purchase a new PC or a new phone, one of the things that you're going to look at, is the specifications, of that device. A PC for example, how much memory does the PC have? What operating system does it come with? Networks have characteristics which can be used to understand how a network operates. A computer network, has a list of characteristics, which can help you, describe its performance, and structure. And these characteristics are called topologies. As we wind up, we have learned today, some of the physical components of a network, and the characteristics of the network. Thank you. See you for the next session.